All right, so let's compare the voice isolation in Final Cut and the new update in Resolve 18.1, which introduced voice isolation and all kinds of other stuff, but I really want to check it out. So first of all, let's go to Final Cut and I have a few random scenes recorded yesterday evening just to have something to compare and also a short bit from my last video to have a bit of a echo room tone, which can be tricky to repair, so to say. Anyway, so this is the scene number one. Right, so with the new update in Resolve, there's a new option called Voice Isolation, and I want to compare it to Final Cut, which has the same option. And I want to compare it to Final Cut, which has the same option. Or just like this German Rettungswagen. Or just like this German Rettungswagen. Or just like this German Rettungswagen. Or like driving in a car. Or like driving in a car. Or like driving in a car. Maybe. Audio in rooms like that. Audio in rooms like that. Audio in rooms like that. All right, so uh, as you can hear, um, it is tricky. The audio is not the best to begin with, but that is the whole thing about trying to repair background noise or something like that and you want to clean up bad audio so um, in Final Cut it's fairly easy you click on a clip and then go in audio and you have voice isolation and usually I try to have it around 40 or 50 which sounds good but you can hear over 50 it sounds depending on the source material it sounds processed so to say but it does a fairly good job especially with this ambulance in the background here uh, work good but you can hear that it really reduces frequency when set to 100 percent okay let's go to resolve and yes you could do that in the edit page as well but for this case i really want to see how the fair light page the post-production side of Resolve really works because that really opens up a few more audio post-production workflows which could be interesting. Anyways, so I have tracks. You could also have this new voice isolation clip based which is nice but uh, I think the track based version or workflow is even more interesting. So the new voice isolation and dialogue leveler doesn't show up at first. When you open up Resolve 18.1 at first, you have to click on those three dots here and then have track effects. And there you go, they show up right there. So what I did is I have this voice isolation here set to 50 and then I created another track and have that on 100%. Okay, let's listen to what's happening here. All right, so with the new update in Resolve, there's a new option called Voice Isolation, and I want to compare it to Final Cut, which has the same option. And I want to compare it to Final Cut, which has the same option. Or just like this German Rettungswagen or Ambulance. Or just like this German Rettungswagen or Ambulance. Or just like this German Rettungswagen or Ambulance. Or like driving in a car. Or like driving in a car. Or like driving in a car. Maybe. Audio in rooms like that. Audio in rooms like that. Audio in rooms like that. Okay, interesting. As you can hear, it sounds a bit more natural in a way, um, doesn't process it too much, but it sounds different. But it still sounds processed, but a bit different, especially when you push 100%. But actually, it, it sounds a bit more pleasant in a way. But... Right there in the ambulance thingy, you could hear that it's still to maintain the more natural sounding effect. It does something interesting or odd with the frequencies. Um, 
or just like this German Rettungswagen or ambulance. So, uh, yeah, it sounds different to Final Cut 10. Or just like this German Rettungswagen. Yeah, in Final Cut it sounds a bit more processed. Or just like this German Rettungswagen. In Resolve it does sound a bit more natural, but you have an odd frequency sweep going on. The ambulance is sounding oddly in the background, but actually I didn't hear that with my speakers that much. With headphones it was a bit more noticeable. So there you go. So let's play it again and switch between Final Cut and Resolve. Alright, so with the new update in Resolve, there's a new option called Voice Isolation and I want to compare it to Final Cut, which has the same option. And I want to compare it to Final Cut, which has the same option. And I want to compare it to Final Cut, which has the same option. And I want to compare it to Final Cut, which has the same option. Or just like this German Rettungswagen. 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 Or like driving in a car. 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 Maybe. Or like driving in a car. Maybe. Audio in rooms like that. Audio in rooms like that. Audio. In rooms like that, audio. In rooms like that, audio. In rooms like that. Okay, there you go. I think it really depends on the source material and what background noises you want to reduce. I think there's no real winner. Maybe Resolve does sound a bit more natural and not as heavily processed. But in the end, it really comes down to the source material and both noise isolations work quite well. Anyways, interesting result. Both are good. I think Resolve has a bit more sound quality and Final Cut has a bit more reduction. Anyway, if you have any questions or tips or your workflow, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Back to work.